Good afternoon, everyone. What's happening on our planet in the beginning of the year 2019, as well as the last two weeks of 2018? Another article, this time by NASA, saying global cooling, here now. Stephen Goddard, censored, sensitive material. Oh, it's just a timeline of ice core temperature graphs showing the Earth was warmer 1,000 and 5,000 years ago. More crop destroying weather fronts passing through Asia. Beer prices doubling, using granite dust to increase crop yields. Massive waves in Tenerife slamming apartment buildings. Three halos in the atmosphere intersecting in Zimbabwe. That yellow thing in the center, that's the sun. Where's our planet on the bottom? It's not one of the four largest ones. That sun is over a million times larger than our Earth. And as its activity state declines, you could expect massive changes on our planet as well. Jet stream shifting, atmosphere compression events. Climate research institutes have told us that a warming Arctic pushed all this record cold across the northern hemisphere. Uh, how is all that sea ice gaining if it's record warm? Freeze warnings out for Miami over the next couple of days. Lakes forming in Saudi Arabia yet again. EF4 tornadoes. Oh, those are water spouts. We have to believe the experts by the year 2300. Rising seas are going to threaten homes with less than a two meter rise in seas. Wait a second, there's a disconnect there. But those four water spots at the same time off of the coast of Thailand, that's real. Strange uptick in seismic activity, a glimpse into the global electric circuit, grand solar minimums, increased volcanism, increased earthquakes, and we're looking for a massive uptick right at the beginning of 2019. It seems that all these signs we're seeing are pointing to that uptick right now. And a new channel on YouTube you're definitely going to want to check out here, smash o -Mash. Extreme freeze events across Florida over the last 300 years. A new grand solar minimum defined in China. We're going to have to take a look back at further cycles in time and more ancient history because everything revolves around nines. The magnetosphere is declining, but can it be mapped out through ancient cycles? We're going to dive into even a deeper picture of the UK's future climate. And as you see, there's all kind of scammy articles now. Shiver through the ice age. Oh, but warming is going to melt the ice caps. Seven degrees Celsius forecast temperature rise in the UK. They talk about the warming oceans being humans' fault, but it's a 60-year cycle on the Atlantic multidecadal oscillation. Report even says there'll be less snow low on snow, but hey, there's more snow this year. First public geoengineering experiments to dim the sun on track for spring of 2019. That is the beginning of this extinction level event. Stratosphere controlled perturbation experiment, Scopex, to disperse aerosols to reflect sunlight. They're going to try to replicate what happened in Mount Pinatubo, but they found that volcanic eruptions are accompanied by decreases in major grain crops from corn to soy to rice to wheat. They're basing all of this on computer modeling, and we know how correct that's been ever since the inception of global warming. Wait a minute, where are those runaway global temperatures? Oh, these 44 models are wrong. We're at the star on the right, not even three tenths of a degree of warming. Even the new climate assessments talk about geoengineering. So this is coming, whether you like it or not, and the cherry on top, termination shock. If you ever cease, global warming will run away again. So it's going to be a permanent forever program that you will be forced to pay for in the global tax. They're going to shift from CO2 to geoengineering. Watch it. They're going to take credit for cooling the planet, even though we're expected to go to a grand solar minimum. See, they're putting it out public now. So when the planet cools, they can say, look, it worked. Our technology cooled the planet. Now you have to pay forever. They never talk about the grand solar minimum. And in the article, they're such philanthropists, they're not even going to patent any of the technology involved in this geoengineering program. You know why? Because all of it's been patented already for the last 70 years. Dispersal from sea, dispersal from the air. And if that's not good enough, how about carbon capture plants? That's going to do a lot of good for the whole atmosphere. Reflective albedo, got to pay for that. 
Artificial trees, got to pay for that in the cities. But why don't we just plant trees? If they're going to start spraying the atmosphere, we should do a global Manhattan project to resurface the earth with trees before they spray our skies. If they would look back in history, say 8,000 years, they would notice we're on a cooling trend now, heading into a grand solar minimum at the end of the interglacial. Temperatures are cooling, NASA admits it. Arctic ice is increasing, NASA admits it. Atlantic Ocean temperatures, cooling, so you can expect cooler northern hemisphere temperatures. The sun decreasing its activity, global cooling right here, right now. They tell us we need to stop burning fossil fuels, yet they could have used anti-gravitics from Otis Carr, Dr. Brown, and several others in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. We could have dusted off those patents that Tesla had for wireless electricity using Earth's magnetic fields for motors 100 years ago. And when they're spraying above your heads, I believe this is what I would see entering your planet's atmosphere. Welcome. Nobody cares. Population 7 billion. China's northeast Heilongjiang, first ever red warning for such cold weather. Rare ice fog, minus 43 degrees Celsius. Area on the map, that green circle. These are the areas I called for crop losses due to shifting weather patterns in China. Bullseye, same exact spot. A couple months back, China, food inflation 9%. Grand solar minimum forecast moving over the next 30 years. We know how the monsoon shifts across Asia when we're in the 11-year solar cycle. Now let's multiply that 400-year cycle. We should be seeing signs all over the place if this is really happening. Teramisu snow is a blizzard in a dust storm sweep across western China. Gansu unseasonable dust storms, which usually occur in spring, now occurring in winter. In the history of China, absolutely affected by grand solar minimums. Great Wall Project, severe disease outbreaks, loss of leaderships, revolutions, and you'll understand why they were so focused on the heavens. The Big Dipper, Beido Qixing, Draco. And when we see these planetary alignments, exactly the same as they were in 79 AD, you'll understand why China's back's against the wall right now. Today here in Pula, Croatia, in the Istrian Peninsula. Behind me, the Roman Amphitheater, constructed around 535 AD, same time as the late antique Little Ice Age. Now, the geniuses at Harvard want to spray our skies and lower the global temperature approximately six-tenths of a degree Celsius. But the volcanic eruptions that occurred every grand solar minimum lower Earth's temperature anyway. So what happens if they decide to spray, they're lowering the temperatures globally, and then we have these volcanic eruptions triggered by the grand solar minimum Instead of dropping six tenths of a degree, it's going to drop three degrees Celsius. This is an extinction event as we're not going to be able to grow food. The temperatures will drop far too fast. It won't take decades to roll into the cooler temperatures. It'll be an instant within one year. It'll go from your temperatures you enjoy now to seven degrees Fahrenheit cooler in a matter of 12 months. This is not acceptable, Harvard. Tallying the cold records. I'm enjoying the snow-covered cacti images over to Europe snow-covered beaches what a holiday this will make Greece warm uh, maybe not multiple feet of snow and this is how much snow is in the beginning of the currently raging weather fronts across Europe government shutdown in the US no new numbers coming for global temperatures Dr. Roy Spencer scraped the December totals this year, cooler than last. And you know what? It's the sixth warmest year on record. We get a participation trophy for 2018. Sun pillars in Canada. Snow art in Europe. Lebanon heavy snows. And IPCC climate models will never reflect reality unless those pulling the strings behind the veil allow it to. Akkadian Empire fall. We're looking at the orange arrow about 4,200 years ago. Abrupt, stark climate change encompassing this entire area of the Middle East. Evidence in Edan, stretching all the way down to Kilimanjaro, and it was a sudden onset. So when we see our jet streams behaving like this because of the intensification of the grand solar minimum, perhaps we should look at the past to see what could happen for the future and then make plans for that. 